Gulls are sort of these oddities that we find in nature. They pop up throughout the summer. You may find them in some of your flowering plants throughout the landscape. They can infest the stems or the leaves or even the flowers of those plants. But most often you find them in trees like this beautiful maple that we have here. Most of the galls will infest oaks or maples. Those are their two preferred foods. In fact, there are over 800 different kinds of galls that can appear in oak trees. We have a couple of examples here with us today. This is on a linden tree. We would call this the linden finger gall. This is the hackberry nipple gall. And these galls are always named for whatever plant it is that they infest and also for the shape of the gall that they create. And this gall is a very interesting formation. It's actually created by the plant. It's supposed to help to protect it from the insect, but the insect actually tricks the plant into making these sometimes. They have special enzymes in their saliva or in their egg laying secretions, and it makes the plant create this sort of home for the insect. And so the insect will dwell in this throughout the summer. The hackberry nipple gall has just gotten started inside of this leaf. And there's a little tiny insect inside of there that will feed throughout the summer. And then as fall comes and the leaves begin to come out of the tree, the leaves will turn brown and then the adults will come out and they're psyllids, which are those hemipteran pests that you sometimes see in your plants. These don't harm the tree. Very few galls are actually dangerous for trees to have inside of them. There's only a few species such as the horned oak gall, which cause significant economic damage. If you notice that you have a preponderance of galls in your tree and you're a little worried about it, you can always go through and just prune out the small infestations. Get yourself a nice pole pruner or a little hand pruner and cut those out. Or if you find that you've got the horned oak gall or one of the other ones that tend to cause a lot of damage, you can do systemic injections into the side of the tree. These would be with neonicotinoid insecticides. The tree will transfer those throughout its entire body and this will protect the tree from some of those psyllids. Hopefully you just find them to be sort of nature, natural curiosities out in the landscape and you go and find them and identify them in your garden.